finally got our first PlayStation 5 die shot and there is a lot of information that has been proven to be false. So if you've been following the release and the announcements of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, there was always talk about what architecture, what technology was within the SoC. And the PlayStation 5 came out as the less powerful SoC, the less powerful GPU, touting only 10.28 teraflops compared to the 12 teraflops of the Xbox Series X. And ever since that, it was pretty clear that the Xbox Series X was the more powerful console. It was the most powerful console this generation. So so there was a lot of people coming out and saying that there is information about the PlayStation 5 SoC that hasn't been revealed and that they are going to have things like Infinity Cast, they're going to have RDNA 3 technology and it's just going to be this highly advanced piece of technology. And before we jump into this any further, if you guys are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. Now to be clear. All of this information about RDNA 3 and Infinity Cash was all coming just from random YouTubers, random people out there that were not connected to Sony in any shape or form. But the actual information never came from Sony and they've been very quiet on the SoC within the PlayStation 5. They've never said anything about RDNA 3. They've never said anything about Infinity Cash. So this information really is just because of the rumors and speculation going on through the internet. So we finally got this first die shot of the PlayStation 5 SoC. It's been a while, we've been waiting for this for a while and it comes from this Twitter user here, Fritchens Fritz. And he says here, a first quick and dirty die shot of the PS5 APU. It looks like some Zen 2 FPU parts are missing. And one thing that is 100% clear now is that the PlayStation 5 die shot shows that how caches are separated, which means that the PlayStation 5 features no infinity cache, despite the speculations of the contrary. Now, I'm not the most technical person. I'm not the person you're gonna wanna come to if you need all of this stuff explained about how infinity Cash works. So I'll do my best to kind of explain what it does. And this is from Tweakdown, and it says, in a nutshell, Infinity Cash allows AMD to have similar memory bus, use less expensive and more available VRAM, GDDR6 versus GDDR6X, and achieve 4K performance levels that NVIDIA requires larger memory bus widths and faster, more elusive GDDR6X memory. So basically, when it comes to this, to game at 4K, the chip needs more data, and the more efficient the memory subsystem is, the better chance you're going to be able to game at 4K and the better the frame rates are going to be. So Infinity Cache was AMD's solution for this. So people were thinking that this was inputted into the PlayStation 5 SoC, which was going to help it push 4K, help it do all of the high graphically intensive stuff and keep those steady frame rates. But obviously that is not the case. Now, this is not the problem. The fact that the PlayStation 5 doesn't have Infinity Cache is not the problem or that doesn't have some of the features that people have been talking about. The problem here is the fact that this type of information was being spread around the internet like it was a fact. When the Xbox Series X was announced, it was very highly touted as being a very powerful console. Then we were waiting for the PlayStation 5 to be announced. The PlayStation 5 was announced and it was pretty clear right away that the Xbox Series X was the most powerful console going into this generation. And ever since we saw those specs of the PlayStation 5, it was pretty obvious that the Series X was more powerful. But since they announced the PS5, back when they did, I think it was in like June or July at their conference, people have been coming up and talking about a bunch of random stuff that Sony has not confirmed and nobody within the industry has confirmed and it's really just been misinformation. Now there's absolutely no problem with having a preference for a console being excited for it and saying that the console you have a preference for is the one you're the most excited for and the one that you're going to be gaming on. The problem comes in when we start seeing a lot of misinformation about this kind of stuff which really just creates console wars because what that does is it gets people from the other side of the aisle, the people who are playing on Xbox and don't want anything to do with PlayStation, feel like they have to go and fight back against those lies, then you have constant infighting. And it's really annoying to see because, like I said, there's absolutely no problem with having a preference for a single console or for a platform. If you enjoy Xbox or you enjoy PlayStation, 
that's great. I mean, nobody's going to tell you not to enjoy it, but there's always stuff like this that comes out. And I always try not to do this on my channels. I, if there are rumors, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows it's a rumor either by putting it in the title or making sure that when you watch my video, you know that it is a rumor, but there were people with the PlayStation five, with the SOC, with RDNA three and the infinity cache that were saying that the technology within the PlayStation 5 SOC, having those features was confirmed and that was just a complete lie. And I personally believe, and I could be wrong on this, they may have actually just been fooled by so-called insiders, but I personally believe that a lot of people who were saying PlayStation 5 had infinity cash consciously knew that they were lying about that and that the information was not confirmed. There's a reason why Sony hasn't talked about their SOC. They haven't come out and really showed tons of information on it. They know that people are still gonna buy the PlayStation 5 regardless of what is on the chip, how powerful it is. They know that the Xbox Series X has it beat in terms of power but they don't care because the PlayStation 5 is still gonna sell like crazy. In general, you play where you wanna play and there's nothing wrong with that. If you are somebody who loves PlayStation, this doesn't change anything. It doesn't mean that the PlayStation 5 sucks. It just means that a lot of the technology that fanboys or people who are creating console wars, and I would say on purpose, were wrong. So I know this isn't maybe the video you were expecting. Maybe you were expecting me to go into a deeper dive about how all the tech stuff works. But like I said, I'm not the tech guy here when it comes to figuring out what all of this means. All I know is that if you just use common sense and you just use a little bit of logic when it comes to this type of stuff, it's obvious the Xbox Series Series X is the more powerful console. What does that mean? It means that if you have an Xbox Series X, you will probably get the best versions of third party games on that console if developers decide to really optimize it for each different console and don't have kind of a baseline that they just meet and then they push out on every single console. It doesn't mean the PlayStation 5 is going to be a bad experience. It's still going to be a great experience. And if you're playing on the PlayStation 5, this means nothing really. It doesn't do anything for how you're going to experience games, how you're going to feel about games. It really is just a talking point that was created out of false narratives that should have never really been talked about because it was clearly all a lie. But yeah, I hope that when you guys watch videos, when you guys see more stuff like this come out throughout this generation, and if it isn't confirmed by Microsoft and it isn't confirmed by Sony, that in your mind, you understand it is just a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt because there is a high chance you're going to be misled and you're going to make a purchase or you're going to make a decision based off of false information on something that, I mean, let's be real. We all really care about gaming. We all love gaming. We love to stay up to date on what's going on. So these things, even though it's just about technology, just about gaming consoles, it does matter to us whether we want to believe it or not. But like I said, when I make my videos about rumors or anything, I'll make sure that I put rumor in the title and that I tell you in the video that this is definitely a rumor taken with a grain of salt because there's nothing wrong with talking about rumors and giving your opinion on what you think, if it's going to come true or not, or if it did come true, how would you feel? There's nothing wrong with that, but just need to make sure that this misinformation doesn't get spread around like it did with this. Cause I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people who are disappointed after seeing this and who are going to feel sad that all that information that they saw, that they thought was confirmed even though it wasn't, is completely false. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. I know this is a little bit of a rant video, not really a deep dive into what all of this means, what the Infinity Cash does, and is it a big hit to the PlayStation 5? I honestly think it's not that massive of a deal. But I just wanted to talk about the situation that goes on when stuff like this comes out and how it really just leads to lies and misinformation and then console wars and all that stupid type of stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to join this community, help this channel, Channel grow and just know that I will do my best to always not do misinformation stuff like this. And if I do talk about anything that could be false, I'll make sure that I put rumors or make sure you guys know that they are rumors. I know I've said that like three times, but I want that to be a staple of the channel, just kind of being honest and not intentionally spread around false information. Make sure to let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I know this is a pretty hot topic and people have a lot of opinions, so I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.